YouTubial universe folks. Um, hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Mel Mandy. Mandy, if you're nasty. I probably should do four different videos. <laughs> We're going to try to scrunch it all into one. And I'm going to try and make it not the longest video ever. But I feel like it's going to be sort of long. So I apologize. <laughs> what are you doing? I preach about not buying things. I know. Honestly, I'm disgusted because I have ordered some things. Um, there have been the Sephora sales and there were some sales at Ulta. There was some sales at Bergdorf, whatever, Goodman or whatever. There were just uh, sales. And I think it's because of the yuck that's happening. And um, I have been working and my husband have been working. We're both essential. Thank goodness. Um, I, uh, I'm sorry for everyone who has not been able to work, um, even though I guess it's nice to not be able to work because you don't have to be out and potentially catch it. Um, I have not yet, knock on, knock on wood, um, and um, so far so good. But I'm a male lady. I uh, have yucky male lady hands. I painted my fingernails last week. I haven't repainted them. Judge me if you want, but I'm sorry. I don't really care. Um, first off, I have some subscription boxes and oh, um, Boxy Charm. Um, I got these Dead Sea Mineral Plus Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. Um, even removes waterproof mascara. So um, that's cool. Even though I just learned last week that wipes are not good for your face, but whatever. So um, trying to breeze through these. Daily Concepts Shampoo Bar. That's weird. I don't know what that is. I don't know how you would use this, but um, I mean, it's cute. It smells like lavender. It smells like, okay, I was on a um, mail route that I delivered to like um, a therapy um, office and um, <laughs> soap on a rope. <laughs> soap on a rope. Anyway, I deliver to like a um, therapy office and it smells like that. So it's very like calming smell. Um, I got Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. Mm. Don't mind if I do. Next. I just wiped it off of my pants because I'm an adult. Uh, Studio Makeup Ease to Wear Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I don't need this. I'm going to give this away. And then I have a bigger box too. Now, to be a thousand percent honest, I don't remember if this tardiest um, mascara came with my Ipsy or my Boxy Charm, but I do have this. It looks kind of cool though. I don't. I'm not sure if I've used this. It looks neat, neato. It looks fancy. Okay, so I saw um, Manny MUA grab this, and I was hoping that I was gonna get it. It's um, Sugar Rush by Tarte Lip Butter Balm, and it's super cute. It's in this little cute little thing, and I am a male lady, so. Sometimes, a lot of the times, especially in the summer or like when it's really cold in the winter, I like to do just easy stuff and I just really try to moisturize and take care of my face because I'm always trying to not get a sunburn or like a whole bunch of sun damage and all that. Um, okay, milk makeup little thing. This is the color Flare um, Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. If it's orange, I'm not going to keep this. Looks like a really, really fair pink for like the lightest of skin colors. <laughs> Too Faced Matte, Natural Matte. Um, this is a, I was hoping that this was going to be a bronzer. Like, cause Manny got a bronzer. What in the world? Oh, it's hair. I was like, there's something on my face. Um, this is really beautiful packaging. I love this so much. Um, but the inside is, It doesn't really smell. It's just not, it's just so boring, but it's so beautiful and like fancy feeling, but ugh, I don't think I want it. And I got the Pure Heels by Nature Village Centella 90 Ampoule. After I wipe this off my face, we'll use him. 
I got the Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Longwear Pomade in the color medium brown. The, you know, it's, I'll tell you in a second, I'll tell you in a second. But um, we might use this today, but um, <laughs> it looks like there's nothing in there. Okay, I found it. It was under the lid. Do you see it? Like it's just in the top. I was like, uh, it looks like uh, totally empty. And then I got the Eye Concentrate Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Eye Stuff. Kind of smells like sunscreen. In my Ipsy bag, I got some eye brushes. They're soft. Doesn't really say anything about them. Pencil Me In, M-O-T-D. I don't know what that is. Oh, Pencil Me In is like the type of brush. Okay, so we're going to, um, I guess we'll set these to the side so we can try and use these. Okay, moving on. Uh, Mimosa Moment Eyeshadow Palette by Colored Rain. <laughs> I mean... Nomad Sydney Bathers. What is this? Kiss of Sun Palette. Sun-kissed face palette with four highlighting and bronzing powders. Oh, this is kind of cute. Um, it doesn't smell. I just, I don't expect them to smell, but I just like it when they do. <laughs> I got these off Amazon. These are little under eye things and there's a gazillion in here. So I wanted to show you guys that. I did get that and I've been using those when I do like winged liner because uh, they really help me because I'm a child and I can't draw a straight line on my face. Um, I also got some uh, um, Arctic Fox. I don't know, can you guys see down there? Some Arctic Fox um, colors. I got purple, um, this pinky color, and then like it's supposed to be like silver. And then this is Make It Last Setting Spray, but um, I thought I was getting something to make the colors not so dark that I was getting them to be like a you could add it to make a lighter shade. I was just, I confused. I was confused. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> okay. I got the street taco thing. Um, and I liked it. The, I really liked the look we ended up with, but the colors, you know, whatever. But I did also order, um, the cake palette, which I think I'm going to do an eye look with today. But like, so the eye look is probably going to be in a different video, but you'll see the after in this video. <sighs> And then I got another Glam Light, just a little Glam Light palette. Um, this is 12 eyeshadows. Boom. See, this is the kind of eyeshadow palettes I like. Um, I got the BH one of these. I thought this was gonna be bigger than what it is. It's quite small. Colori Vivara. Anyway, the pans are tiny. Look at, look at, look at. This is just a regular brush. And it's just, it's big enough to put your brush in, but it's like teeny tiny. I'll play with that. Um, I got the James Charles Mini, which now I'm like kind of regret. Hmm. I just wanted like this palette because it's kind of like a rainbow. So it's like all the colors that I'll probably need. I just, I just wish they were a little bigger. So we're going to be playing with this soon. I got this Fenty highlighter, which um, so far, like I used this yesterday and I love that they're like glittery, glittery, glittery and fun colors. Um, so we're going to be seeing a lot of her, I have a feeling. Ooh, I got this Lancome powder, which totally gives me, um, let me grab it, Jaclyn Hill powder vibes. And they have the same amount of powder in them. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I love Lancome. So I wonder, maybe we should do like a comparison, half Jaclyn, half Lancome someday. Maybe. I got these little color poppy palettes from Ulta. Does anybody throw these away? Are you supposed to keep them? Because I don't like them. So this is the She's Got Solstice Solstice. And then this one is the All Thing Equinox. I have more makeup than I will ever need in the rest of my life. So like after going through all this, I'm literally kind of sick to my stomach. Like why do you need all this makeup? Especially since I have a job where I can't really wear makeup every day. Um, I got these little Neutrogena wipes so I can pack them to work and use them to wipe off my makeup when I do it in the morning and then it sweats off and looks ridiculous. Um, I got this rust palette. This is Milk, Milk Cosmetics. What is on my face? Um, back to the stuff. I got this rust um, palette. <laughs> 
Okay, so I purposefully ordered this, but I ordered this before I had all of these other warm tone, because I was like, maybe I should get something warm tone and, you know, just give it a shot. But, so I actually used this last night for date night. Insert photo here. Their restaurants are back open in my city. So, oh, I have another glam light thing. So we went to, out to dinner last night. So I got this, this is the pecan pie. Um, by Glam Light, and this is like one of my favorite, like my favorite lip colors are like pinky rose mauvey colors. They're just my favorite. Look. Oh, this is like a gloss. After this, I am going on a strict no buy. The only thing right now that even sort of caught my interest is the new Norvina palette, and I wish I had that one instead of the purple one, but I really don't want to buy it just because I have so much. I got this Born This Way foundation in the color Vanilla. Um, I got these little eyeliners and eye stamps. I'll put a picture here. I used the Star Eye Stamp already, um, and I haven't really tested the liner, but why are there so many things? I got the um, Unique Setting Spray. I actually really like this. Um, I know Unique MLMA. I know, don't support them if you don't want to, but if you do want to, they have some things that are good. Okay, uh, Givenchy Le Gloss. All right. This is a lip gloss too. I've been really liking lip glosses lately. So it's more sheer than that one, but you see how it's like that pretty pink. Oh, if it's not a rose, like a cool toned mauvey rose color, it's pink. Those are my favorite. Um, I got the Fenty Beauty. This is the powder bronzer and I got the color India Sun, Sunstalker, India, Inda Sun, Inda Sun. This is part of the um, Solstice collection. This is the Luxe Gloss here. I swear I'm not buying any more things for a long time. We're gonna be recreating looks like mad women on this channel and hopefully losing weight too. That's a little more like orangey, but it's still pretty. Ooh, this either came in my BoxyCharm or my Ipsy. This is the Sugar Rush um, Sugar Coat. Oh, it turns. Oh, another lip, lippy. This is a matte lipstick, it appears. This is the color Cupcake. It doesn't say what it is. Did it on the box? I don't know, I threw the box. Moving on. This is um, another unique product. This is um, just a blusher that I thought would be pretty for the summer. It's a little more orangey than I thought it was gonna be, but it's okay. Ooh, this is something that I got. Um, okay, so this is what I was gonna tell you earlier. In the Boxy Charm, I got the brown eyeshadow stuff, and I <laughs> there was a sale, and I ordered the pink one. <laughs> I wanted to try pink brows. I'm wanting to be like this fun, like I love doing basic eyeshadow and basic makeup and just looking healthy and nice, but sometimes I just wanna look fun. All right, this is the Unique Stick Foundation. I actually like this. I already have one of these, but I wanted to get another one, and that's the color Lay. I have this idea for a TikTok, and um, this sounds so lame. Do you remember um, the Angelina Jolie scene um, on Gone in 60 Seconds where she's like, um, talks about how a woman matches their lipstick to their car? Well, I wanna do that, but my car is blue, so I've been looking for like a blue, um, lippy that I can use and this is not her. I thought it was going to be darker but it's literally just like um, so shall the the search will continue. Oh I got this Laura Mercier um, cream eyeshadow pencil thing right here. I like wearing cream eyeshadows to work. It's just super easy. Um, I always put like um, a primer underneath of it and they usually last a long time. These are, I have the unique primer and the unique concealer. Um, I got this, it's Ulta Beauty brand chapstick. Um, oh, I got this, I want my wax charms or Ipsy too. I'm the worst. It's a pretty vulgar um, um, eyeshadow primer. So I'll be using that, let's see. Ooh, Kat Von D Ultra Ultra Ink Liner. This is like um, a marker. So um, I've been like testing eyeliners and how well they last on my sweaty ass face at work. And so far the Kesha Beauty um, black eyeliner is winning. Yes. Um, I got this Cover FX Glitter Drops. And I love glitter. 
If it's glitter, I want it. I got this brush from, this is from Ulta. This is the, um, Kathleen Lice talked about this in one of her recent videos. And she said something that I also thought like, this came in a really pretty package and stuff. It's real techniques. I don't know if I already said that, but it's really, really, really flimsy and floppy. And I don't feel like it's gonna do anything unless if I just use it to put glitter on my face. But honestly, I'm not a fan of this like at all. I think I'm just going to give this away because I don't even know what you would use it for. It's just too blimsy. I don't know. I've, I don't, I've been checking out like some fancier stuff sometimes and I've been wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and I saw this set and I got real excited and was like, ooh, that's a good deal. It's a fucking mini. I hate baby sized things. I just do. I want the full size. I don't want freaking miniatures. I didn't know it was a miniature. I wouldn't have bought it. I don't even like that color that much anyway. It's like too warm. What's this? Girl Tactic. What is this? Skin Glow. Moonlight. I don't feel like I ordered this, so this must have came in Ipsy or... But it's pretty. Maybe I'll do like a Jeffree Star Palm Swatch. Ooh, that's way golder than I thought. There's a pink one and like a goldy one. Dang it. They're both really warm. You can't really tell and because the light's so flashy, but they're... <laughs> That makes my heart sad. They're kind of creamy. They're not real. They're kind of creamy. What the world? What is this? I'm going to have to Google this and see what to even. I mean, I assumed that they were highlighters. Okay. Um, let's see. I got the Kat Von D. I'm going to say Kat Von D. I know it's called something else now. But it's the Kat Von D to me. And I like Kat Von D's brand. Her as a person and her ideas and her all of that is not my business. Okay. But like, I like the aesthetic. I like all of that. I'm inside of me is like a colorful goth girl that's trying to break out. Um, this is just um, a brow um, powder. Honestly, it just looks like an eyeshadow, but it's a brow powder. Um, okay, so um, Hourglass Ethereal Glow Lightening Blush. I think this is like one of the ones in the Ghost palette. I need to see if it actually is one of the ones in there, but I just thought it was pretty and I wanted it. Okay, I don't know. Um, I've been wearing some Sephora Collection eyelashes. These are not the ones that I've been giving, getting compliments on, but I lost the other ones. I'm sad about it. Uh, I feel like they were number five still. Um, yeah. Oh, look, another ColourPop Solstice uh, collection item. <laughs> All right, this is the ColourPop. It looks like blush. All right, cool. It's just a pretty mauvey, rosy blush. Why do I have so many? Th I, I literally will never use all this shit. But it, I've been like, okay, I don't know. This is like over the last, since like tax time. And I haven't really used it. Fenty Cream Blush. And I got the color Cheeks Out. Oh, let's see. No, Crush on Cupid. That's the color I got. Crush on Cupid. This is the Moon Dust Urban Decay. Um, this is supposed to like be for your skin, I think. Or you can like mix it with your foundation. What is this? This is a uh, Horizon Glitter Liquid. So, yeah. Let's see. It doesn't smell good. Like, I mean, it, it doesn't. It doesn't smell bad, but like it doesn't smell good. But I mean, I am glowy and glittery and that is what I live for. Look at the <laughs> sparkles inside of her. This is a tattoo that's not finished, by the way, if you are curious. I have a lot of tattoo ideas. That's another reason why I need to stop spending money on shit like this because I want to get more tattoos. Okay, I got the Fenty Beauty Confetti Match Stick. And I think this is like a highlighter. I don't know. Um, can you see it? Hello, McFly. We're almost done. Giorgio Armani. What is this, you bougie bitch? Oh, I forgot I got this. Like, the cap, again, doesn't match. I mean, it just looks weird with the pink insides. You know what I mean? I guess we'll do it here. Yep, now that is a pink ass pink. Now, boom. Curious how these fancy lippies work with a working woman, you know? 
Oh, here's another blue that I tried to get. This is the um, Givenchy and it is called Night Muir. Look at this packaging. Is that not like the most beautiful packaging ever? Oh, there's a blue. It looks like my, oh my God, it's so sheer. It's very sheer. I just need like a really bluey blue. I am looking for a super bluey blue and I'm really trying. That color ended up being really pretty though. Okay, last two items and we're done. This is the, um, the Afrique, Juvia's Place, the Afrique. Here it is. It's pretty. This is a really pretty blue color and it doesn't look like that through my camera, but it's oh really pretty. And the last item that I got, thank God, is the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. I like that the Magic Mini is actually small or bigger than the other one that I had. Hmm. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I say that's all I got and it's literally like way too much stuff. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing with lots of makeup. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I need to use, but all this stuff that I got was on sale, on clearance, uh, used discounts or in my, my, um, my boxes. So, um, and over the last like few months, not like I went out and just bought all this at one time because this is a lot, this is a lot. So uh, yeah, that's my whole video. I'm gonna go wipe this off my face. It's definitely been more than 10 minutes. Um, look, it's like, it's like being in, all the excess is turning like gross looking. I'm gonna go wipe this off and then uh, yeah. So um, if you made it this far in this video, thank you so much. I feel like it was boring. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you all the things that I have purchased in the last couple of months and um, I haven't really played with much of it. So I'm going to get it all organized and put in with my stash and um, be using it over the next thousand videos. So if you haven't yet already, please subscribe. I'm super nice. I am here for you. I'm here for an honest voice for a regular ass bitch. And that's me, a working woman. And I just do this for fun because I like to have an excuse to wear makeup. And also because I just honestly feel like I don't know who we can and can't trust in the beauty community. Um, so I just wanted to be that voice and someone that I, at least I know I can trust. So you guys, hopefully you decide you can trust me too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Hey friends, check me out on social media. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on TikTok. I am on Instagram. And I'm on the Tweetster, even though I don't know how to use it.